how to install Avast free antivirus on Windows 10 and run your first scan. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL address https colon slash slash www.avast.com Once here, you'll be on the Avast homepage. Make sure you're in the home section by clicking on for home. Next, hover over security here at the very top. And then as you can see, you'll have three options. The first option to the left hand side here is Avast free antivirus, basic protection for all your devices. As you can see, it's available on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. On the right hand side here you've got your Avast Premium Security which gives you complete protection against all internet threats and furthest to the right you've got Avast Ultimate which is Avast's best security, privacy and performance apps in one package. So we're going to be going with the free antivirus so all I'm going to do is navigate to the left hand side here and left click on free antivirus. Once you've done that guys you should be on the page that looks similar to this and it says Avast free antivirus essential protection that's light, powerful and completely free. You have the big download button here but before we download it I just want to tell you a bit more about Avast free antivirus. As you can see, it's a cloud light, award winning free virus protection packed with the largest threat detection network, machine learning, virus protection, and home network security that won't slow down your PC. It's easy to install, effortless to use. Avast free antivirus scans for security and performance issues and tells you how to fix things instantly. It protects you in real time by analyzing unknown files before they get to you. And finally, I'm just going to go through some of the features here. So as you can see, you get an intelligent antivirus, which detects and blocks viruses, malware, spyware, ransomware, and phishing. It uses smart analytics to stop threats before they affect you. On the right hand side here, you can see it says cyber capture automatically send suspicious files for analysis in the cloud and push a cure to all Avast users if it's a threat. Wi-Fi inspector, automatically detect weaknesses in your home Wi-Fi and strangers piggybacking on your network. Smart scan, find all those cracks which allow malware to slip in from unsafe settings and passwords to suspicious add-ons and out-of-date software. So that pretty much concludes all the features of Avast Free Antivirus. The next thing we're going to do is download Avast Free Antivirus. As you can see guys, I'm currently on Windows and therefore the big green button is the free download for Avast free antivirus on Windows. Underneath here you've got the Mac download option, Android and iOS. So all I'm going to do now is left click on free download here. Once you've done that guys, the Avast free antivirus installer will begin downloading automatically. It's a fairly lightweight program and will download relatively quickly. All right guys, it's already downloaded. The next thing we need to do is open the installer. So I'm just going to navigate to the left hand side of my browser, left click on this arrow here and then left click on open. Once you've done that guys, the Avast installer will begin opening. I'm just going to minimize my browser here as I no longer need it. So we need to give it a few moments now for Avast free antivirus to open here. So I'll be back with you once the installer has opened. All right guys, the Avast free antivirus setup installer has opened now. And as you can see, it says at the very top here, Avast free antivirus by installing or using the product, you agree to its end user license agreement and privacy policy. Before you hit install or customize, make sure you navigate to the bottom left hand side here, which says install the free Avast secure browser for safer, faster browsing. Now I don't want to install the browser. I simply want the Avast free antivirus. So all I'm going to do here to the bottom left hand side is uncheck mark both of these boxes here, which say make Avast Secure Browser my default browser. We're going to uncheck mark that. Yes, install Avast Secure Browser. We don't want this, so all I'm going to do is uncheck mark it there. And now we're ready to install Avast Free Antivirus. If you want to use all the default features, all you need to do is left click on install. If you would like to pick and choose what you would like to install a bit further, hit customize. So I'm going to hit customize here. Here you have the option to set the installation path. If you're not happy with this current installation path, you can simply change it by left clicking on change. Underneath here, it says, which components do you want to install? By default, it currently has recommended protection. If you're not happy with that, you can just left click on this arrow here. You have minimal protection or custom protection. I'm going to go with recommended protection. And as you can see with recommended protection, you get all these items checkmarked here. You get file shield, behavior shield, web shield, mail shield, ransomware shield, software updater, browser cleanup, rescue disk, Wi-Fi inspector, cleanup, 
do not disturb mode. So I'm going to leave all these items checkmarked and then all I'm going to do is left click on the green button here at the bottom right hand corner to install Avast free antivirus. All right guys, as you can see on the bottom right hand corner here, Avast is installing the Avast free antivirus. This might take a while, so I'll be back with you once the installation has completed. All right guys, I'm back. And as you can see, the Avast free antivirus has been installed. So if you look at the top here, it says you are protected. You've now got the world's largest threat detection network on your site so I'm just going to left click on continue here let's run your first scan if any threats are hiding on your computer we'll remove them trust us we've got decades of experience doing this so all I'm going to do now is left click on run first scan I'm going to let the Avast free antivirus do its smart scan here it should be relatively quickly however it is dependent on the amount of programs and data that you currently have on your computer all right guys we have a conclusion now from the Avast antivirus smart scan as you can see it says no browser threats found feel free to browse away so all I'm going to do now is hit next the next stage here is outdated apps where Avast antivirus will look for any programs that you currently have installed on your computer that are out of date so as you can see it says one outdated app found these relics may contain security holes that threaten your security it's best to update them so as you can see here guys I only have one out of date app and that is iTunes 64-bit. I'm currently on 12.10.5.12 and the new update is 12.11. So you have the option here to skip for now or to update all the apps that are out of date. I definitely recommend updating all your applications. As like the Avast free antivirus just said, old versions of your programs may contain security holes that threaten your security. Now the update on my end could take a while and because I respect your time, I'm not going to update this app. I'm going to skip for now as I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. So I'm just going to hit skip for now at the bottom right hand corner here. Avast free antivirus will then ask you, do you really want to skip this? Resolving issues now could save you a headache or worse later. Skip or don't skip, I'm going to hit skip. The next stage of the Avast antivirus scan is viruses and malware. As you can see, Avast free antivirus has detected no malware, which is great news. I'm going to hit next now to move on to the last stage. This stage of the Avast free antivirus scan is advanced issues. As you can see, there are four advanced issues found on my computer. These are open doors for more advanced threats. Resolve them now to maximize security. Although Avast free antivirus will alert you regarding any advanced issues issues that you may have with your computer. The advanced issues part of the scan is in fact a premium feature and therefore you'll need to buy Avast Premium Security or Avast Ultimate to utilize and solve these advanced issues. This tutorial is for Avast Free Antivirus and therefore we will not be able to resolve all and will in fact need to skip for now. However, we can see exactly what issues Avast Free Antivirus has found. So as you can see, it says 210 sensitive items are prime targets for attack, advanced threats could possibly hold these files hostage or steal your private data from them. Your PC webcam is vulnerable to spying. A hacker could hijack your webcam, disable its light and secretly spy on you. You have only a basic firewall. Cannot completely hide your computer from hackers on public networks. And finally, you are vulnerable to fake websites. Hackers can hijack your DNS, domain name system settings to redirect you from real websites to fake copycat sites. Clicking on any of these will show you exactly what the issues are. However, because some of these issues contain sensitive information, I'm not going to be able to take you through any of these advanced issues. Again, you'll only be able to view the issues and not be able to resolve them as again this is an advanced feature all right guys lastly all you need to do now to complete the avast free antivirus scan here is left click on skip for now again you'll be greeted with this window that says do you really want to skip i'm going to hit skip and there we go guys we're brought to the end screen which says scan finished please run smart scan later to resolve the issues you skipped below here you have the option to schedule smart scan to run once a month helps keep your computer healthy and virus free with regular scans. As you can see, that's currently checkmarked. There's no harm leaving this checkmarked, so I'm just going to leave it be. And then all I'm going to do is hit done. Once you've hit done here, you'll be greeted with this information regarding the Avast free antivirus app. As you can see, it says get our free Avast security mobile app. You have the option to enter your email address in here to receive an email with a download link for the app on either your iOS mobile device or your Android smartphone. For now, guys, I'm going to ignore as I only want to set up 
Avast free antivirus on my Windows 10 PC. So all I'm going to do now is left click on ignore. All right, guys, that pretty much brings us to the main dashboard of our installed Avast free antivirus. So as you can see, it says this computer is protected. You have the option to run another smart scan whenever you want. On the top right hand corner here, you can see notifications, the main menu with further settings here. And on the left hand side here, you can see your status, which we're currently on. As you can see, it says this computer is protected. You have protection options here all the non-padlocked options are available for you to use with Avast free antivirus. Features such as virus scans, core shields, virus chest, Wi-Fi inspector and ransomware shield. Remote access shield, sandbox, firewall and real site are all premium features. Next you have privacy here. These are all premium features and lastly you have performance where the last two do not disturb mode and software updater are available for Avast free antivirus and the cleanup premium has the padlock, meaning it's a premium feature. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to install Avast free antivirus on Windows 10 and run your first scan. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so